Sarah Santiago and I'm here with Edwin Ewan. We're from the Server and Cloud Platform team and we're here to talk about private cloud. Edwin, what is private cloud? Well, it's a very interesting question. I think cloud is one of the hottest topics in IT today. Everyone really wants to get in the cloud, learn about cloud, but they really don't know what the different cloud technologies are and how do you divide it. Cloud, at a larger sense, is really building one large resource pool, a resource pool that then you can service applications and services and end users. And it's elastic, it grows, it's dynamic, it's not limited by specific resources. So it's a pool that's available. Now, in terms of a private cloud, what you want to do is grab many of those capabilities that you'd find in the larger public cloud, such as Windows Azure. But you want to have that available either on-premise or in a hoster environment with dedicated hardware, really leveraging the equipment and the systems they have now to build that private cloud. So how does that differ from what we used to do in the data center, such as virtualization? Well, that's a really good question. Um, if you think about what virtualization has done in the last five or ten years, it's really revolutionized how the data center works. And what it's fundamentally done is it has abstracted the applications and the services from the mm -hmm. physical resources. So in a physical world, you had a one-to-one -one relationship. And in a virtual world, we have a many-to-one relationship. Mm -hmm. But when we go into a private cloud, what we want to do is really take all those new resources and pull them together and then make that elastic resource pool. And it's almost like going back to a one-to-one -one relationship, but that one is really a large pool that's able to dynamically deliver those applications and services. And, and that's really the second point is, no longer are we sitting there managing resources, individual servers or even virtual servers or virtual machines. We're not as concerned about making sure this server has this much memory or this many VMs or things like that. It's about managing the applications and services that are running inside those virtual machines. And, that, and that's really the most important thing. And in the end, that's what the end user sees. That's what drives the business. That's what you're really delivering. So it's about elevating the management to that right level and then de deploying and delivering that using a back-end set of resources. Mm. So how does that impact, say, the IT operation? How would our customers benefit from private cloud? Really, the benefits of private cloud are to, to really expand the capability and the agility of a system and leverage a single resource pool. And having that single resource pool really is about making that migration from that day-to-day -day management of individual mm -hmm. resources that we're used to in virtualization and moving into that private cloud where you're really looking at it as a single pool where you can add more resources, remove more resources, um, it can be self-healing. There's a lot of capabilities that you get when you build a private cloud rather than sitting and managing a series of servers. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that if they have a certain spike in demand, they can easily adjust to that using the resources within that big pool? Exactly, and really optimally that pool will almost dynamically have that capability ready and available. You don't have to sit there and say, do I need to add another server or do I need to build two or three more VMs? Mm -hmm. It's about having that resource pool readily available, it having all the capability and functions that you need, and being able to deploy that when you need it. That's a lot of great information, Edwin. So how do I find out more about private cloud and Microsoft solutions for private cloud? Well, you can go to a great website, microsoft.com forward slash private cloud, all one word. And when you go to that website, you can see a lot more about what private cloud is, how it works, look at different resources, but also learn about what the different Microsoft solutions for private cloud are and how to get started, how to get going on that path to the private cloud with Microsoft. Great. I'll check that out for sure. Thanks, Edwin, Thank and you. thanks for watching.